how to remove the internet limiter. Let's learn it now. So the first step is to right click on your internet icon right here. We are going to go on, we are going to go on right click and open network and internet settings. Then once you're on the screen, scroll down and click right here, change adapter options. On the new screen, you're going to see two options probably, wired connection, that is cable, or Wi-Fi. If you are using wired internet, follow the steps I'm about to show. If you are on Wi-Fi, hang tight and I'll explain what to do later. So right click on your internet, in the Ethernet actually, go on properties and then you're going to click here on configure. When you click on configure, you go on advanced. Here on advanced, you're going to look for something called speed and duplex. It depends a lot in your motherboard. Some motherboards doesn't have this option. Uh, I got a friend that doesn't have this option. My brother doesn't have this option. And my, my old computer did not have this option, but my computer does have, my notebook, my laptop actually doesn't, but that's it. If you have this option, speed and duplex, click right here, you're gonna click on value, and then you're going to click on 10 Mbps full duplex. When you click that, you're going to ap apply and okay. Now, if you are using Wi-Fi, you're going to do the same thing, but when you go on open network and adapters and change adapter options, and right here, instead you're going on Ethernet, you're going to click in the other option, the other option that will be right here, that will be called something like wireless connection, something like that. Then you're going to do the same. You're going to do on properties, to go on properties, and then configure it, okay? The same thing, you're going to click Advanced, and then right here, there will be all the options. And the other options that we have is, it's easy for me to just search on Google and show to you visually it and just talk, or just to get my not, my laptop and, and record another video to show you guys. So the same thing, okay, the same thing. Fury, it's the same screen, same screen, same option. Right here, you're going to click on roaming aggressiveness, okay? And you're going to put medium to low or medium to high. I prefer you to put the medium to low. And that's it. That's the part that you're going to do if you are using wireless connection, okay? So now let's move on to the second step. The next step, we are going to press the Windows plus R and right here, we are going to type jpedit m, actually jpedit the dot, msc, press enter and now navigate to administrative templates, left corner, uh, the option number five. Then you are going to go on network and you're going looking for something called KOS Packet Scheduler, right here. Double. After that, double click on Limit Reserve Bandwidth. If the, app, if the option is set to Not Configuring, change to Enable and set the value to zero. This removes the 80% connection limit that the Windows apply by default, which can greatly improve your internet connection. Now confirm, apply, and OK. The next step is actually go to the Start menu and select Settings. Settings. Then go to Update and Security, right here. Click on Delivery Optimization, somewhere here, right here. Turn off the option Allow the loads from other computers, other PCs which use your internet to share updates with other device. Okay, did that. Now I'm going to show you how to check your internet speed. Many people ask me how to misery download and upload speeds. First, find out the speed you contract to your provider, okay? For me, I contracted the fast one. 
that's the name. I'm going to Google it fast. And for me, basically, is that one, 650. It's a nice internet speed. If I want to, to see my upload, I just have to wait a little bit for it to end. Show more information, and then I'm going to see. My latency is 1 MS, which is very, it's pretty good. And my upload is about 130. Isn't done yet, but probably is it. If you don't know how to see your provider, go on Google and just type Internet Speed Test. And you can test on the first one. For the next step, right click on the Start menu again and go on a Device Manager. Just type that. When that appears, look for Port, Con, and LPT. Port, Con, and LPT. Click to expand. Here on the Communication Port, Con 1, you're going to click with the right button, go on Properties, and go to port settings and under port settings set the bytes per second to the maximum allow value right here confirm the changes and test to see if your internet has improved if it has leave a like on the video if not check out the next video i've linked at the end for more tips let me know in the comments which option helped you and i see you in the next video bye bye